Well, why is your heart pounding like a little girl? I can't kill me. I can't kill, kill me. It makes no sense. It's hand -held. Anybody can kill you. You can slip and fall on a banana peel. You can get in a car wreck. You can fall off a bridge. You can have an aneurysm on a toilet. Jesus Christ. This guy sounds like he's speaking from experience. I mean, you hear the pain in his voice? You can have an aneurysm on a toilet. This guy doesn't care about these kids whatsoever. He just really needed to get that off his chest. I mean, an aneurysm on the toilet? <laughs> That's a tough way to go out. I mean, someone's got to find your dead body. That's not a pretty sight by any means. Someone's got to find your body. Your, your meat's going to be all out. And it's probably going to be all small because the blood hasn't been pumping for several hours. I mean, that's going to be the talk of your whole funeral. Everyone's going to be like, yo, how, so how small was it? It was pretty fucking small, man. I mean, seriously, I was I was more concerned about his meat than I was about him not breathing. What you been here for? Smoking, being disrespectful. Smoking. Have this pot full of crackheads. Not me, girl. I didn't say you. But have this pot full of crackheads. They can't get a phone call out. Can't get commissary. Why are you here? Being disrespectful towards my parents, fighting on my mom. Your mom says you whoop her ass. Who does that? Who does that? She's tougher than she looks. Okay, in this kid's defense, for some reason, the older a woman gets, the more accurate her ability is to throw shit at you. I don't know how this is, but the toughest fights I've ever had in my life was with 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 middle-aged elderly women that I was somehow that I was somehow related to. I mean, these women just just they just know how to fight, bro. <laughs> Man, my aunt used to beat the absolute shit out of me. I don't know why, but she was just strong as fuck. I mean, look at this kid's eyes. This kid doesn't fight her. He fights to survive her. Someone help him. Hey, what do you like to fight your mom, but you scared of us? What type of real is you? Huh? I'm not. Huh? I'm not. Oh, now you ain't. I never was. What you got your mama for? To the bottom one. Come here. Now I kiss you, you orange flavor mother. Housework, you don't want to do yard work. And I, I just want you to stay here just, just for a little while. Yeah. So we can No! Come on, come on. Come on. Let's go. I will not want to because y you can get beat up, raped, and you can get hurt. I also would not want to be in jail because it's not the life for me. Do you really think that I should take you home today? Yes. See, what they really need to do is get this man out of jail and into a booth because we've been missing the past 20 years of potential classics from Biggie and he needs to fill that gap immediately. Jail is a bad place to be in because it kind of smells funny. My name is Brindley. I'm 17. I'm the nicest person ever. <laughs> oh man, you see what he did that at can? This is the villain from Captain Planet. This man hates recycling with a passion that's never been seen before. I mean, what a savage. You see how he obliterated that tin can? <laughs> My favorite part of this clip is his tagalon friend. He's like, yeah, bro, you fucked that can up, man. Let's go pollute a lake. Let's go, let's go, let's go switch the cans and the recycling bins. Wait, 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 wait. Let's watch that again. Okay, I've watched this clip about 50 times. I promise you, this guy's head never touches the glass. Homies rehearsed that shit before they came in. Like, how bored are these prisoners to where they're acting out skits to scare these kids? That's clearly like tomato juice or ketchup or or, or some, I don't know, what they're, what are they doing? Who are you from? Charlie. Man, Charlie's a bunch of bitches. I guess. Who the y'all really think y'all are? You can come play with me. Oh, you pretty? You light skin? You think you got it going on? Then you don't do shit up in here. Not nothing. This is my house. I don't give a damn about none of y'all. You think your hair pretty? I'll take all that shit out your mother head. Get the hell out of my face, y'all. Move. Oh my god, finally, they found a real criminal. Look how violent this lady is. I can't wait for them to get to the free scene so we can see how many people she's actually killed. Look at the aggression that this lady's speaking with. She must have murdered, she must have murdered like a whole bunch of people. She's like, the, she's, she's a general from Al Chapo's crew. Like, this lady's a beast. Bro, she's in here for buying Snickers with a check. Apparently that's illegal, but who, who where are they finding these non-violent criminals? What? Bro, are these, the, are these these hardened criminals that they're talking about that, are, that they bring in to scare these kids? I mean, they could. Where are the real criminals? Are they like, are they are they not clocked in today? Is, is this their off day? But you know what? Now it's all starting to make sense. No wonder Ross was taking so long to file these paperwork when she got fraudulent checks in the back. For some reason, the people with the lightest sentence come across as the hardest criminals, and it's just hilarious to me. You are, you're in here for fraudulent checks. You're out here. <laughs> 
I didn't even know that was illegal. I thought they just give you a fine or something. Apparently, you can go to jail for that. Hey, move. If I tell you one more time, get this camera out of my face. I ain't playing with you. All right, so that's going to conclude the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to support the channel, there's going to be an Amazon link in the description of my dog brand. Go ahead and copy one. I'll catch you guys later.